Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking? What's popping? It's D about to react to this vid by the WRI channel. It's titled Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. Rappers and celebrities pick a side. They pick the side. Okay, so now we're going to see who on whose side. I mean, I already know of the basics, you know, the, the typical people, but apparently, you know, there are more people who come out and they started picking sides. So this has created such a division in, um, in the industry. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to say in the music industry because... You think of like LeBron and stuff like that too. It's like this goes deeper than just the music industry, you know. So yeah, this, this stuff is still affecting the industry and the world. Let's watch them. There really is what the truth to like. Oh, Kendrick opened his mouth. Let's give him a Grammy. Drake or Kendrick running the rap battle right now? Who got it? Drake or Kendrick? I mean, it's good for good for rap, so I can't say I don't know. Man, Kendrick, man, Kendrick, boy, he cooked the right. I ain't cooked that man. <laughs> what? Man, I'm who won and why? Now, John man, Cena. They... This this guy John, sh I was like Sheena because I said club treasure. This guy John Cena talking about this. Oh, he he was. Cooking. Not too long ago. I should have reacted to it, but the moment has passed. When John Cena was talking about why he wants to uh to never have kids, oh that spoke to my soul. <laughs> I think I even reposted that on IG. I was like, brother, you are speaking my language. This is exactly how I feel. Like he articulated that so perfectly. I'm just like, yes, because you know, people get shamed for not wanting kids. It's some weird, some weird shit going on. Because people want to project their feelings about kids onto you and they get mad when you don't want kids or try to you know shame your decision it's strange um so anyway he talked about that and i was like preach i just, just started out i was like man i love just, this guy but just just on pure vol just play drake they, i thought they both did well they held their own i thought right. kendrick won but I thought that Drake, by no means, did he embarrass himself or have anything to hold his hand. No, he showed up. He showed up. He, he, def he definitely showed up. Football game, a basketball game, or anything that you go to where the home team is winning, where you're not going to hear it, they're not like us. I mean, excuse me, Kendrick Lamar. Yes, Kendrick won. The winner does. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. I didn't know a lot of the shit that was going on. I just know uh, Kendrick was killing that shit. But I did. I didn't. I wasn't like up on every single, you know, when it was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? But I definitely was on the last joint. The they not like us. Kendrick is the better artist out of the three. He hit me out over Drake. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. He really does get more accolades, more attention, and more respect for doing so much less than so many other people. I'm Kurt Duo. His stage show, mm -hmm. wow. how he put his fit together, everything, how he conceptualized his album. I'm Team Kendrick. Team Kendrick. Team Kendrick. Why? Oh. I'm sorry, but that's like shots fired. I'm sorry, but Kendrick, oh, Kendrick no. wanted this. He Kendrick. wanted this. Drake might have put put out more songs in the last year than Kendrick has put out in his whole career. You know. I'm a neutral party, but however, Kendrick dropped some heat that last song. Some that heat. last song is amazing, and I played it walking onto the court. So um, currently, I, I think. Kendrick's doing a good job. He's been Drake for 15 years. And you act like you didn't know that. Now he's not really black. Oh, he was black when he was. He's recorded more songs with Jay Z than most of these rappers. Last time I checked, Jay Z is real. Uh, Michael, Eric, Dice, and Michael. Whatever. This nigga, he's got a beige beard. Challenging his racial identity, saying he's a culture vulture when he's an act, when he's a black man. He's from Canada. He ain't real. Idris Elba is from the UK. People still love him on the wire. They're not like us is telling the world, listen, mother, because I know you like watching game banging movies, but you ain't like, you ain't part of this shit. You're not from LA. You're not from 60th in, in, in Crenshaw, Slauson. You're not from Compton. Kendrick Lamar is a brilliant rapper and a formidable foe, but so is Drake. And what he's done to expand the horizon of hip hop is underestimated. Love Drake, but. You know, at the end of the day, if Kendrick mad at him, I gotta roll with my family. Every little punchline. Period. It's hurtful. And they you lead to multiple hush. punchlines and to gunplay. Let's, let's be real, he mentioned his wife first. It was in push ups? Yeah, he was like, I'll be with some bodyguards. Like, this album, I'm mad it took me so long to listen to it. Okay, if I didn't listen to it, 
not too long ago. You know, it took me months to get around to. And I'm like, wow, heat, heat. And nobody really talking about it like that. And that's unfortunate because heat. And I've liked him for a long time now. Whitney, top say you drop trying to drop him to 50. Like, you mentioned a man contract and shit. But, like, I was a fan of both of them. You know, and most people were. And it was like, okay, it's okay. It's not like, okay, I hate this side. I hate this side. It's like, shot the drink. He did get uh, this dismembered by Kendrick. God bless him. But um, to me, I'm going to always go with Compton. You feel Period. me? You can't, you can't win over Compton, so I got to choose Kendrick. You know, I got to go with the OVO6 guy, man. Sure. You know, uh, Drake's your guy. Yeah, that's my brother. Uh, Kendrick, I feel like, just like, just picked him apart, like, piece by piece. Oh, yeah, lyrically, it's like a human being. It's like a human. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, Kendrick got the edge, bro. Why, why you say that? I say that due to... The, the, like his, the consistency and the songs that's going out, it's, it's, it's like, in the order of the songs that he's released, it's been like, help, help me. Damn, son. Help, help me. If I go to New Orleans with a mic, what? and I roam the streets, and ask people their favorite five Kendrick Lamar songs, I think it's gonna be ugly. <laughs> Have a take on who won, Drake or Kendrick? Um, I'm gonna go with Kendrick. I'm gonna go with Kendrick. Drake got cooked. You think so? Hell yeah. Man, he got cooked, bro. He said strike a chord A minor and it was over. I think the win would be like something like both of them coming together and doing a song together. I think that's one of the most beautiful wins. You know, to watch it from a competitive nature. Beautiful. But I'm also behind the scenes like, well, I'm hoping these motherfuckers don't take it too serious because at the end of the day, ain't none of us got. There are no labels, basically, that are incentivized to sign black music. And it's happening in front of our eyes. And while Taylor Swift is fighting for people to be able to have streaming money, niggas is on the internet arguing with each other about some rap shit. Any kind of war is bad for the world. The world needs to focus on what's going on. Because those things are just distractions. Oh, Drake is an amazing artist, right? Now. And sometimes, like, when you've been running it for 15 years, you have to start smelling yourself. Right. But you knew not to play with that guy. Since the battle. He's been shooting hairballs. It's the Camila Cabello shit. That shit missed the sexy red record. Ooh. What sexy red record? Where he where he talked about BBL Drizzy. We all know that that guy raps, works out. That's it. That was a real bout with them, with Kendrick and Drake. This battle was to me was a heavyweight because it was like they was going back and forth. They was doing what they. I, I respected each. You know what each one delivered. K Dot has always been. One of my favorite rappers. I'm always gonna go with the uh, black guy. Tell you that Kendrick song has the West Coast going up right now. Like yeah. everybody I'm out here is I'm like having a gangbanger, right? Like crip walking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like you just want to start crip walking. Like every time I hear. I'm not on any sides, but right now, uh, after the newest song that Kendrick dropped, the West is up, baby. It feels like Kendrick had a a very um. He had a plan. You could be a hit maker and and be like, you know, make joints that we all love. But when it gets to the battle, you got to have lyrics. Yeah. You said that Drake tried a little bro, Kendrick, like he did with uh, ASAP Rocky, J. Cole, Meek Mill. Yeah, I think if you and, think about it, he never bro. really never really directly went at Kendrick or took him seriously. Like, you think he has a problem with viewing him as his true rival, as somebody could even be better than him because Drake's given us so much more music than Kendrick has. True. And the public said, hey, Kendrick's the winner. And everything's been crazy since then. Everybody has to pick the side. I mean, LeBron wasn't on here because he hasn't spoke about it directly. <laughs> you know, he spoke about it very indirectly. But LeBron is very strategic. He's a whole ass brain. I feel like he's very careful with how he moves. But we know. We know the tea. We know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, interesting. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.